BB9 died that time Maju reportedly dumped her boyfriend Lamy for a young tech entrepreneur he introduced her to. Living in bondage, graphic designer drags Ramsey Noir for using her work without payment. An actual brownie Igwe Igu narrates how he was mocked and advised to pick another wife as he welcomes a child after 10 years of marriage. Hey guys, my name is Eva and you're welcome to CVGs. So yeah, so let's get right to it. Okay, first things first, we have the ex BB Ninja housemate Jakai Madu. As we all know, uh, well, some of us know, Jakai and her boyfriend, whom she was dating back in the house, even when she was in the house, broke up. And many of us were shocked when the news came out because Lami, her ex boyfriend, supported her through and through, even when she was in the Big Brother house. Well, reports had it that they broke up because Lami was cheating on her. Hmm, but it seems that details were left out as new reports come out and revealed that Jackai dumped Lamy for a young tech entrepreneur who was introduced to her by Lamy. Mado! What do you guys think? Do you think what she did was right or wrong? Do you think it was right or wrong? Tell us! Okay, moving on. This one is about the movie Living in Bondage. So a lady named Louis Agio took to Twitter to write a very detailed letter stating that she was the one who designed most of the graphics that were used in the movie Living in Bondage and wasn't paid or acknowledged. According to her, she was contacted to work with them in 2018 and she worked diligently with sleepless nights. She said they didn't like most of the work she designed but at the end, they ended up liking most of them. She asked for a down payment but excuses were given and she thought, okay, maybe Ramtuna was just busy. Long story short, they didn't pay her. She tried to reach out to them but the media director who she was in contact with got sacked and well, she couldn't reach out to them. She then said that a week ago she watched the movie for the very first time and noticed that her works were being used in the movie. And she wasn't paid, credited or acknowledged for her works. She also stated that she had tried to reach Ram Noir and he had been ignoring her. She also posted proof posted her designs side by side how they were being used in the movie okay so now you use somebody's work and you don't pay her acknowledge her or credit her for her work long story short in it all right let's see what ramtino has to say about all of this let's just keep our fingers crossed and wait okay thirdly good news congratulations to the nollywood Sir Brownie Igboegu, who just welcomed a first child after 10 years of marriage. In celebration, he took to Instagram to narrate how he was under constant pressure to get another wife to bear him children or adopt a child. He also stated that people mocked him and his wife while they were waiting to be blessed with a child. Some even insinuated that his wife had done something with her womb and that was why she was unable to conceive. But all thanks to God, the couple have now been blessed with a bouncing baby girl and guess what? They are super happy. And guess what? We are all so happy. This is amazing news. Amidst of all this bad news, you know, COVID-19, blah, blah, blah. This is actually really great news. After 10 years of marriage, wow. Congratulations, Brownie. We are happy for you. All right, with that, we've come to the end of CBG today. But do not forget, you can keep this conversation alive by telling us what you think about everything I've just said, you know, from top to bottom. You can do this by following us on our social media platforms, Camera Boy, the TV and Instagram, Camera Boy, official on Facebook, Camera Boy TV Engine, on Twitter, and on the Big Boy YouTube, guys, Camera Boy TV. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to see me and what I've been up to, you can follow me on Instagram, it's underscore Eva. Until next time, 